We're going to open up with a roll call. Andy? Aye. Lucas? Aye. Bob? Aye. Sean? Aye. Mike? Here. <laughs> Justin is here. Uh, Holly was not able to make it today, and uh, Mateo is going to try to call in, but uh, it, it appears that he is unable to make it as well. So, um, start off with the approval of previous meeting minutes. Oh, actually, let's, uh, Mateo is calling. Hang on one second. Hey, Mateo. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, are you able to join the meeting? Yes, sir. I was, um, I had to head to Newbury to pick up my wife's car for a little alternator replacement, so I'm sorry to miss your call. I was driving. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't allow me to pick up with a driver. No worries. Uh, I'm going to merge the call because I've got uh, Mike on the other line as well, so just give me one second. Okay, yes, sir. Thank you very much. All right, Mateo, Mike, can y'all both hear me? Yes, sir. I'm there. Okay, so Mateo just joined us on the phone as well. Um, so we're starting off with approval of previous meeting minutes. Are there any updates to the minutes that anybody wants to bring up? No. Can I get a motion to approve the minutes as written? Move we approve the minutes as written. Second. second. I have a second. We'll approve them through roll call vote. Uh, Mateo, for this, you'll just say aye, uh, unless you have any comments or anything that you need to, to state. But we normally do that for the motion. So, Mateo? Aye. Uh, Mike? Aye. Andy? Aye. Lucas? Aye. Bob? Aye. Sean? Aye. Justin? Aye. Minutes are approved as written. Um, <laughs> next item on the agenda <coughs> is the Townsend Out Code of Conduct Guidelines. Really, it's just a, a couple of pages that you should read for guidelines for town boards and committees, uh, best practices. So did everybody get a copy of this, have a chance to read it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, if you have any questions, let me know. The big thing that I want to point out with this is uh, we do the open meeting laws. So I have to have the agendas turned in by 72 hours before so they can post it. And then all of our meetings are recorded and uh, so the less editing that we have to give Bob and his team, um, the better. And we were actually just talking about that. So remember, you are being recorded. And um, so just monitor what you're saying because this goes out on the local TV channels. All right. Sean, why are you laughing? <laughs> you're giving the public a, the, the opinion that we have to uh, censor ourselves. Cens yes, thank you. Well, yeah. this will be censored out. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so next item on the agenda is purchasing items. This is what we talked about during the last meeting. I attached the list in attachment one of this, and basically it's just uh, some items that we have talked about getting uh, now that we have funding. And uh, a lot of this is things that we had talked about or that I wrote down. Mm -hmm. Are there any issues with this? Um, does anybody have any thoughts? I, really, what I'd like to do is just, uh, I'm not always going to attach it to the agenda, but my thought is that we should have a running list of items that we want. We can prioritize it and then go that way. Yeah. Um, this is carried over from last month's meeting, correct? Right, where we were talking about funding. Okay, so do you want me to review what we talked about, the procedure for? Yep. Okay. <clears throat> So we know, we know where the money lives, and right now it's living somewhere in uh, Jeff's realm. Um, and the procedure I was told is that there's a specific form which was sent to me, which we can fill out, and it has a detailed list of what we're looking to purchase and the cost and the quantity. And then we have to make sure that we apply the correct account number so that it comes out of the money that's been assigned to us. And then if I present it to the chief financial officer for the town, that's the process we're going to follow. So we bring the paperwork to her, or she's going to notify Jeff and let him know that the money's coming out of that account, and off we go. Yeah. It, it seems like a pretty smooth process, although we haven't done it yet. So, so the, the money is good from July to June? Yeah, July to June 30th, right? June 30th, okay. yeah. Yeah. Um, and is that, because I know 
I know last time, or at one point when we talked to Evan about the money, he said that he it wasn't, I, and I don't know if maybe it just has to do with when they talk about budget for the following year, but he had mentioned September or November was when he was going up. Is that just when they discuss the budget for the following year? Budget, we yeah. start we start yeah. working on the budget mm-hmm. now. Okay. Yeah. Right. yeah. So. So don't need to worry about that. I wouldn't worry about it because the line item that's going to cover anything that we're interested in is probably already been filed away. I mean, you know, it's it's what two thousand dollars. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah. okay. No. So the big things on this list that, it, and I'm I'm going to just kind of think through the stuff that we need immediately. Uh, would definitely be a case for all of this stuff. I mean, I've got. I've got a box full of things from the DAB from, from mm-hmm. Jeff, uh, Framingham <clears throat> University. Mm-hmm. They gave me a bunch of veteran stuff. Um, I'm just trying to collect as much as we can. The VAC business cards and the VA emergency business cards are the three things that I kind of see as top. Yeah. We've got signs, uh, tablecloth, table canopy. I mean, that's all stuff. I think the tablecloth would be good, but that's going to take a little work. Um, but really just kind of thinking through trying to spread this out over the year. Mm-hmm. Um, so is, as far as anything that we buy that's uh, like tables and that kind of stuff, canopy and that kind of stuff, also, where do you store it? <laughs> <Mine's> <laughs> everything's everything's okay. going there. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Quick okay. and easy, simple. Everybody knows where it is. Okay. It's protected. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So for, for purchasing these, purchasing these things, we have to vote on it. We, we, I would imagine, yeah. If we follow protocol like other committees, we discuss it and vote on it, and then, um, and then pursue it. Okay. So, I mean, and it seems, I guess it seems odd if we were going to buy a fifty-dollar tablecloth to vote on it, but right. yeah. for the purposes of the, you know, the people that might watch this at home, right. they can see that we follow the procedure. You know? yeah. Yeah. Uh, to uh, like if you get a twenty-five thousand dollar fit and a fifty dollar hundred dollars, it better just say one hundred seventy-five dollars for these rings and go after one. Yeah. Not to exceed a certain amount. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's what I was thinking. Is you know maybe if we just like I can get costs for these things, mm-hmm. and then we can present. Hey, here are the mm-hmm. items that we want to purchase. Here's the cost, and then we vote on. Do we? Because we're a town entity. Do we? I know we had to with the plaque because it's a big item. Do we have to go three three bids from anything? I think if we're yeah. buying a tablecloth, we probably don't have to worry about. It. I hope not. Mm-hmm. But yeah, if we were, not. if we're going to buy, uh, if we're going to buy six plaques at two thousand a piece, uh, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. 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 It, there's probably like a limit. Like if you're below this amount, you can just yeah. go to Walmart or so yeah. Because I was going to say like the the container, you probably just go to like Coopers or something yeah. and just buy a container with wheels on it that you could just pick up and roll wherever you need to with all the stuff in it. Yep. Like yeah. You wouldn't necessarily need to bid that out for yeah. a contract or anything. But I, I can even pursue the procedure if we wanted to buy something at Coopins because obviously the town has an account there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, Tax number two. We get, we want, yeah, as long as they know it's a town item, they, they just plug it in and find the town account there. Yeah. So I, mean, yeah. I'll, I can just double check and make sure that we're good to go on that. Okay. Yeah. So That would be, I think that holds true. <coughs> With any vendor the town does business with. Right. So, yeah. But especially for Coopers, I mean, because I'm sure oh, yeah. the, the facilities guys are in there oh. every day. Every yeah. day. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. All right. Um, I'll see if they have some kind of case that would work, like brochure case. And then, like I said, I'll, I'll get some cost for this, put I, something together, and get them on the agenda item for next month. I think something either staples or a colony office supply or whatever would be. I mean, yes, Koopmans might have hard cases of, you know, toolboxes. Yeah. But you're looking for something more like a, you know, a rolling file box. Yeah, it, I don't know really yet. Like, um, Jeff had, it was almost like a Pelican case, you remember? Yeah. yeah. And everything well, was just kind that's of what in there. That's first came to mind when you said it, because then I was like, the signs in the tablecloth, yeah. like those could all just, just grab it never go in there, and then if you need to go somewhere and set up, mm-hmm. like, you just grab the tables, drag mm-hmm. that with you, and just right. set everything yeah. out. Right. Mm-hmm. But... I'm, I'm thinking because I've got everything kind of organized. Like, okay, this is all the women's veterans stuff. Mm-hmm. This is the education stuff. So a rolling file cabinet would probably be a good idea. And then getting like a Pelican type case for if we want to do vests or shirts, if we want to do 
tablecloth, yeah. you know, everything well, else. Worst thing you can do is throw everything in a drawer and then have to go through it every time. To find exactly. It. Mm -hmm. So if you, if you have the orderly slot, same thing, you know, and, and some type of label on top so you don't have to yep. thumb through everything. Yeah. So, um, so I, I'll get a couple of thoughts um, or get a couple of process and quotes put together. We'll vote on it. Let me know if there's anything else that anybody can think of between now and our next meeting and um, mm -hmm. we'll get it added. So is there anything that we have identified as a priority that we want to do right away? Did we, we talked about getting the cards printed, so was that one? Yeah, yeah, and then the BAC cards. So as I've gone out with to people, the National and that event, when I've gone out to the DAV, people want to see our information. Mm. And so having a VAC card that says, here's our email, here's our business, uh, or mm -hmm. Facebook and all that kind of stuff would be great. All right. Um, so let me see if I can find out who the town uses as their vendor for printing. Okay. okay. If not, I think I still have the information from you with Staples right. when you went out. Right. So yep. uh, Staples would be another option. Well, just the thing with Staples was with the emergency, <coughs> emergency cards. Okay, we, we buy them 542 for 100. And then, and then we get to separate and all this other stuff and, and uh, uh, prepare a letter to go with it. They take, they said, all right, for thirty nine eighty or something like that, yep. including tax, print a thousand. Yep. Okay. Yep. Includes the stock. Mm -hmm. And when you get it, all the cards are there. You don't have to separate yep. them from everything else. Mm -hmm. It's, it's uh, a lot easier. Okay. Um, So that is all that I had on purchasing items. Is there any questions or comments? All right. Uh, next item on the agenda, Bob, do you have any updates for the memorial event? Anything else that we want to share? Uh, no, there's no new information since our last meeting. Um, I can't think of anything that's changed since we got the green light to go ahead and do it. Okay. Um, we know for a fact that the Gallagher family is on board and they're happy that we're doing it. And um, so that's all I got for this month, really. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and on Tuesday's trustees meeting, uh, we spoke with the uh, Legion and the Post, and they like the idea of a plaque, but they <coughs> feel like he did more for the town. Uh, so not so much from uh, the veteran side. And what we agreed on is a location, could be a location for the plaque would be, or for the memorial would be here at the GCTV. Okay. Because uh, he did a lot. Mm -hmm. Well, that and the fact that all the proposed ideas we came up with were already named for yeah. somebody else. <laughs> so, <laughs> yes. yes. So it just makes well, we get like a big, you know, bronze statue from uh, the comet. Next to you. Yeah. Right there in the middle of the middle. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. Um, but, you know, I, personally think that if we if we take the lead on it okay uh and say to to the various people that we can find out from the town what committees to use on mm -hmm. and then approach the various committees and say look every one of us can't if you if you go through the roof with all kinds of pack plaques all over the place if you make them individually or if we make one and list all of these things yeah yeah basically we'll take the lead on it we can't buy it if you want it you want to kick something in toward the price, I'll, we'll give you a price, we'll talk over, we'll go out and get some prices, and then we'll know what, you, what everybody shares. Yeah. Because, uh, and then we'll, and then we can run with it. I don't know that Committee A transfers money to Committee B. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, but it, that, we'll this just would have to out. probably go t from uh, Evan or something yeah. like that. Right. But so if we spent the $2,000 <coughs> that's in our line item today, if we spent it tomorrow, the question I asked was, so then what do we do? We sit on our hands for 12 months? Yeah, yeah. The answer was no. Mm -hmm. no. The answer was, come and talk to us first, and we'll figure something out. Yeah, more funds transfer from somewhere. Yeah. yeah, but it's going to, the TA can transfer funds from box A to box B, but committees are not going to do that. No, right. So, yeah, I'm with you. No matter how supportive they are. It's, yeah. So does this, plaque become a town 
play. I think so. Yeah. I think so. I think that would be the better way. But we to go. we bring the idea. No, I agree. Bring the idea to Evan. Mm -hmm. We can't fund the whole thing, yeah. and he know he would know uh, or his uh, secretary would know where uh, where all of Jim's activities mm -hmm. were, and then they, they can approach them individually. If, if he wants us to go out and get get some quotes on it. That's fine. I don't have a problem with that. Right. Okay. But some somebody has to put the bug in his ear because this isn't us. We can't yeah. do the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Okay. So do we want to move that up the priority list and before we buy tables? Before we buy a tablecloth, do you want to? When, well, when, when, what is the need of the tables and tablecloths, the canopy, and all that? that that's for next August. That's next August, right. Right. right? Well, if we have, if we, I don't know how fast it could happen. However, <clears throat> if we could have the plant purchased and installed and prior to the walk then we could have an unveiling at the end of the walk yeah, yeah you could do that <clears throat> so is, is, it going to, is the walk going to end here or something well, it's going to be on this whole campus okay. Okay. Starts right. and ends here yeah. Yeah. it's going to start here and wherever perfect and yeah so it's on this campus and it's it's a perfect spot right there and the, uh, so my thought, Bob, as far as the money is, we just go ask Evan to fund it. Yeah. We don't yeah. use our money. Right. Yeah. yeah. And <clears> no matter who pays for it, it's going to be a town player. Exactly. Yeah. Right. And, it, and I think Evan would, I think Evan would agree to that. Yep. <clears throat> um, as far as the memorial event, so I kept it on the agenda just because keeping it yeah. in our front and center in our mind. I don't mind removing it. You just tell me when to put it back on. No, you just keep it on. You keep it on as a housekeeping item, and then if I have something to say, I'll say it. And if mm -hmm. I don't, we move on. Okay. Yep. Okay. Sounds good. Any questions about the memorial event? No. No. Uh, next on the agenda is Veteran Day events. So uh, we also talked to the Legion in the Post. Uh, they seem to like the idea of us kind of deconflicting some of these schedules. Uh, I kind of got the feeling. And Andy, maybe you can help me out with this. I kind of got the feeling that they were a little hesitant, like what we were trying to do. Um, is that he took it? Well, the thing is, they have their, they've had their own schedule, their own process, their own ceremony every year. One year is a sub draft and one year is a not draft. And they do basically, it's a, it's a script. Boom, 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 they do it. And, it, and you can be done in five, ten minutes, or you could be done in, in 30 minutes, depending whether or not you're going to have speakers. Sometimes uh, Mr. Moravian likes to say a few words. If Mike Moore comes in, he'll say a few words. Uh, and if somebody else wants to say something, that's a few more words. Then you're talking 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And if it's raining like hell and it's, and, it, and, it, and, it, and it's cold and it's raw, it can be done in five minutes. Yeah. Okay. Right. It, it, it's quick. It's, but it's uh, a process. Okay. They don't want to really change that. All right. They don't need it. They said they don't need anything extra. Right. But what I would like to do and, and, and bring this with the committee is they don't advertise. They don't send out invitations. Yeah. And really, the <clears> only <throat> one that knows about it is anybody that really knows what uh, November 11th, 11th day, 11th hour, and uh, uh, 11th month. Well, I mean, what, you know, they did what it means. I, thought I, they know. Only, I only Every, thought they did a uh, Memorial Day. Right. And, a lot of people don't because they don't advertise. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. If we have plenty of room for the amount of people that would like to come, I want to invite Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts. But you got to think, figure like, all right, gee, you know, uh, it's a weekday. Mm -hmm. uh, we like we talked about doing the more the uh, the rededication over here. We want to get the, the kids involved. The kids are still in school on on, on uh, uh, flag day, so we'll get the schools involved. Okay. We can do it if it's, if it's on a Saturday, or or if it, or if it's in the middle of a three day weekend or something. But uh, a four day weekend, we we, we can uh, uh, invite other people. Mm -hmm. But you have to realize uh, who can you invite. We want somebody from the, the selectmen. We want somebody from any of the other committees that are, that are, that uh, uh, have any any tie whatsoever to anybody military. It is what everybody I know does. Okay, but but nobody knows. It's not it's not posted anywhere. Yep. There's a sign at the post. There's a sign at the post in South Carolina, and that's it. So and I think I think we should be more of a <coughs> support role for them. Yeah. Right. And mm -hmm. I think that we should press the members of the select board to attend. And if we 
asked to be put on the agenda to ask that one specific question, sure. we can, you know, and then we can say, oh, but while we're here, do you have any questions? You know, um, so that would that would benefit the event, and then we can just shoot the promotional video without waiting to be told to do it and just right. do it. All we need is the details, you know, and right. I mean, November 11th. I mean, they got all that, that, that. That's easy to remember. But we can say, you know, it's going to be held at this facility, and from this time to this time. Right. right. Public is invited. Right. You know, you're welcome to have a quick and easy lunch okay. if you're going to stay long. You know, right. there's all kinds of information we can put the video. And you and I, you and I can put it together in a minute and a half. You want to put Carmen in? We can put Carmen in. I mean, it's 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 going to be easy. Yeah. It's not right. heavy lifting. So. Mm -hmm. And and like so do some type of posting like on the town uh, cable channel. Yep. yep, that yep. so Bob's our end with that. And then the uh uh town Facebook page as well. And the events yep. calendar, which I, I know we talked about and whether it's an events calendar or actually not. Who uh, who has one that really means anything in this town because everybody in Trava over overlaps everybody else. A lot of people look at that town website. Okay. But I know a lot of the social media don't ask me to name them all. I know a lot of the social media sites share information back and forth. Some people say, oh, I saw it on Buy Nothing Grafter, or somebody says, I saw it on Town Up Grafter. Yep, this yep. person says, I saw it. Yeah. You lose track of all the sites. Right. The key is, is that wherever it starts, you have to ask somebody to share it yes. you know, yes. around, because yep. the more it gets, because that's what happened with the flight. More people yeah. would share it out <clears throat> instead of the parade. So, so I, and I think I, I got the feeling from uh, Carmen and Stan, this was kind of the same as the first time we started helping out with the Memorial Day Parade. Mm -hmm. It was like, what are you doing here? Yeah. And I think once they see, hey, look, here's really all that we're going to do. We're going to advertise it. We'll invite this. Let's we'll, be honest. I mean, they, they're not <coughs> open to change. Yeah. You know, yeah, right. I mean, the older we get, the less change we like. Yeah, and those right. guys are, you know, I yeah. understand. Yeah. So, yeah. but I mean, that's why it's just we can be supportive without trying yeah. to take yeah. over. Right. And, and this year with the Memorial Day Parade, they've open arms, welcomed all of our support. Yeah. So I think yeah. they, we just need to show them, hey, look, really, here's what we're asking. The older yeah. they get, the less they can do, and they want, they want, they don't like change. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And if we can come in and and uh, put our arms around, so to speak, and help where they need it, then it it, it uh, gives them a little uh, a safety zone. Yep. Until such time comes as they ask us to hold them up. We're just going to be supportive. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, any other questions, comments on Veterans Day? No. All right. Uh, so next on the agenda was the food drive, but with Holly not here, um, there's, we're going to skip that item. And then last, I'm kind of putting Sean on the spot here, mm -hmm. but it has been about a quarter since we've yeah. had our last meeting. Right. And uh, I think it's about time that maybe we set up another one. I agree. I agree. Um, <coughs> I would, do you think the senior center was overkill? Uh, the size of the room, the <coughs> yes. The 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 location and the the setting, given, let's say it was a bigger event. The the setting being a place where we had access to utilities like you know a kitchen if we needed it and tables, chairs, all that stuff readily available right. that's what i liked about it you know right. but you're right when you walked in it's if, if we had that number that number of people in this room you'd say it's a great meeting that number of people in a 40 by 40 room you say geez yeah. you know what happened is there a way to section out that room yeah well my thought before we get too oh. far and I'm, I'm sorry for interrupting before mm -hmm. we get too far though my thought was maybe another stop and shop meet and greet Oh, you mean table sitting out front? Yeah. If they were to do it. Yeah. Yeah. They, yeah. they were open last time. I don't know, but I thought there was something we didn't know. Didn't we ask them to do something and they were less than going to the food drive? Yeah, they, they can't do a food drive for us because oh, yeah. they already have the Grafton Food Bank Correct. drive that's always going on. So that was the only thing. They don't care that we were setting up. We just have to let them know. Yeah. But my thought is getting us out there again. Like, mm -hmm. it's cool if we're, we're over there. But if it's the same people that show up, then really it's not a meet and greet anymore. Yeah. So I was just kind of trying to think of, well, what if we circle back to this? It's the holidays, more grocery shopping is going on. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, we can just choose a weekend. We get yeah. everybody in blue. Yeah. Trying to get kind of yeah. Yeah. out there now. <laughs> so, right, yeah, you know, it's kind of perfect well, weather right to, now. To kind of build on what we were talking about before, you know, lessons learned. 
uh, this kind of ties in with everything we talk about, like every holiday. Uh, I realized we need to get the word out there sooner. And the people that I did, like we had flyers, obviously. So we're bringing flyers to people and we're having them put them in a window or on the door, like three, two weeks, was it two weeks or so before? I, so, yeah. I don't know exactly how. So we need to get further ahead so that we can get on people's agenda, so to speak. And maybe the churches, for example, if they do, I know the Catholic churches do a weekly bulletin. Yeah. Can we get into the weekly bulletin? Yeah. Get a, 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 a man, mention. Uh, Grafton News, the, all you know, the three community newspapers. Yeah. So how far ahead, first off, how do we get into those newspapers? Do we have to pay for an ad type of thing? Or is it a public service announcement? That I don't public know. Public service. Uh, okay. You know, the Blackstone Valley Express ran that. They, they did like run. Yes, right. right. They're right. They're run by all right. Long. So yeah. let's, let's talk about maybe a date. And then we'll back work back from there. Yeah. How far in advance do we want to get into the newspapers? Hey, if the newspapers will do it twice, like two weeks in a row type of thing, that's even all the better. I would think the TA's office has all that information. The what? The TA's office probably okay. has yeah. all that information. Okay. Yeah. Because anything well, that has to do government wise, it has to be public notice. Right. It has to go through the okay. newspapers. And so. Yeah. But yeah, that's true. I think the reason why I like the stop and shop idea for now. Is because mm -hmm. it's the holidays, and I don't think we'd get anybody to show up. Yeah. If we do a big one, if we okay. do stop and shop, we don't have to worry about all of that. Right. Mm -hmm. We just choose a, a weekend, call stop and shop, mm -hmm. and say, "Hey, we'd like to just come out, set up a table." I think you still have the signs, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. We can throw you up mean, the you signs. Mean the road sign, the road yeah. 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 signs are yeah. back there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like everything so, else, they're back yeah. there. We can throw up a sign, yeah. and we can just stand there and, yeah. you know, look to greet new people that. Um, don't know about us yeah. or maybe have some questions and we can just hand out information. So kind of a low key thing before the holidays. If we were to <clears throat> put a, not a title on it, if, it's a, if we're gonna make something like a flyer or announcement, how would you say, how would you want to say, hey, come visit us at Stop and Shop Saturday. We're doing, flyer. In, we're doing an information session. Oh, what would you want, how would you call it? I don't think we need to do a flyer. We just sit there. Those people, people come in. Hey. Yeah. Well, you can just say, I okay, so chat. yeah, no flyer, but we're going to do a, a PSA in the newspapers. So we have to come up with some verbiage, at least. No, we don't have to do a PSA. Hmm? We don't have to do a piece, PSA. You, you, you don't think so? He just wants to go cold. He just yeah, just go cold. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Just go cold. Right. Just set up. Yeah, but sign down who you are. Because, but it, nothing, not really nothing else. Yeah. Because, I mean, I'm not going to have a group of people just standing outside to stop the shop. Although, stop the shop and enjoy that if they yeah. go in afterwards. But, yeah. but, no, this is more of just okay. people coming and going. And, yeah. yeah. So, and we did, we do? well, when we did the food drive table, mm -hmm. well, the table was for stopping up last time. Yeah, we did, uh, You, you people are, are a little gun shy. But we did, you know, especially with Jim sitting there, say, hey, are you a veteran? Hey, are you? You're, and So, you have to kind of, you be, you got to put yeah. yourself out there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Yeah. Just like, be in yeah. uniform or? <coughs> well, we know how to hide. But I think, I think, if, you, I think if you're going to do mm -hmm. this, okay. then you should, then you probably should spend the money to buy the tablecloth and the banner that says who you are. Yeah. Yes. The table, the table. Yeah, because we're going to say about that. Yeah. When you're just standing out there behind a white table, you're going to be anybody. You know, yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We get a tablecloth with our name embroidered on it. Well, when you, well, you when want to do it this year, I, that's kind of tight. But yeah. Well, it actually no. See, you're you're saying embroidered. The way they do uh, silk, screen. Sure, silk screening or yeah. whatever, yeah. it's 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 a lot faster. Yeah. And I can I have a few people that I dealt with via athletics. I can ask. You just need a banner. banner. It doesn't yeah. even have to be. Yeah. You need a red, white, and blue tablecloth, and then a banner that says "Come and meet the Veterans Committee." Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. When does the uh, Grafton Farmers Market end? I think it ended last week. Oh, did it? Yeah, right. We think last week. Right, so, right, around, right, right around the first of October. Yeah. Because that runs year round. Okay. Yeah. If if we can't do it this year, I mean, for those of y'all that have been on this board for a while, you know that I'm not going to push it. We're not going to yeah. rush it. Mm -hmm. I want to do it right. But I, I've been thinking a lot about our meet and greets. And mm -hmm. 
I, I just I want to make sure that we're constantly getting our information out there, right. and um, and I think just thinking up the new ideas of how to do it. Mm-hmm. And maybe eventually we go from a meet and greet to a, hey, we're, we're doing a movie night. That's what we try to do. Yeah. Everybody watch That's the right. movie. Yes. Um, you know, we change it. But I, I think that if you announce you're going to have another meet and greet, mm-hmm. and it's going to be held, for example, here, yeah. refreshments will be served. Yeah. Come and meet the Veterans Committee. Come and meet your state representative. Come and meet. X number of members of the select board. Yes. Now they might come and completely ignore us mm-hmm. to talk to the other politicians. Right. right. However, we get them in the door. Yeah. You know, and then sooner or later, who knows? The conversation might turn around to, "What do right. you guys do?" <laughs> you know. Well, yeah. I mean, you got to hook them somehow. You know, right. and it, it might it might pay off. Right. But but it also helps to get the politicians into the room at the same time. You know. Well, so well, like to to go. A segue from that is in our first one, we, we were hoping that trying to do a movie night would entice families to show up. But I am of the mind that you're right, you <coughs> want to give them something, a re, other reason Tangible, to come. Right. And I hope we can build on that and say, well, other than in, in addition to the politicians who call that, maybe some other an actual speaker, maybe not this time, but as we grow. I would like to see it become something like a. And when you say speaker, are you talking about somebody who's going to talk about how to navigate the difficult terrain of the VA, or are you talking about somebody that would get up and make a speech about their experiences in combat? Which, uh, honestly, I think, I think you could go either way. You could, yeah. yeah, you could go. You either could get way. a medal of honor and recipient. A lot of people would come out for that. You could get yeah, missile hire. Tonographing is a purple hat kind. Okay, come meet the PA. Come meet your PHs. Yeah. How, yeah. How, how did we get that designation? Any idea? Uh, I was just going to say, I never even heard of that. They're all yeah. the signs. Uh, they they were all, it was all over, the, all over the place. Unfortunately, we had, we had, uh, uh, we were going, VFW was going to pay for it, American Legion was going to pay for it. They were good. To, the signs were like parking, parking, no yeah. parking signs about that, about that big. Where are they going to put it? Jim, Jimmy was involved with it. Okay. Everybody got, had their ideas with it. And, uh, uh, everybody, somebody was pushing, I don't know if it was Evan or it was McInerney before him, okay? But uh, finally they said, hey, look, these things, these things going to be about $900 to make all these signs. Something to that effect, we're going to, we're going to put uh, at, at every entrance, every road coming in and out of ground so that they realize that we are a Purple Hat town mm-hmm. also. So it's a sign, but what else happens besides the sign? Well, we're designated as a Purple Hat town because we have Purple Hat veterans here. Yeah, I don't think the only guys. problem being is nobody knew who they were. Mm-hmm. The only ones they knew were Purple Hat and the people are dead and have it on their marker. Mm-hmm. Okay? We have Stan, Stan Sapir, the last the leg of Vietnam. He's Purple Hat. We've got several vet, le, living veterans that weren't even asked to attend when they made, when they designated the town as a Purple Hat town. Mm-hmm. They didn't know about it. Nobody told them. Nobody mm-hmm. asked anybody. Right. So, yeah, we're a purple hat town. We 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 get signage all over the place saying we are. But what do we do? What is it? What does it get us? Yeah. Yeah. Are there any significant? Yeah. Is there? I should know this because I'm into history. Is there any significant dates tied to the purple heart? Well, one, yeah. one thing I I do want to caution is I I have met a variety of purple heart people. I've met a variety of Medal of Honor winners. A lot of people don't want to not even know it. Yeah. yeah, or uh, they're not the type of motivational speakers that you. No, no, I, I didn't mean, yeah, I didn't mean so, in that regard. No, I agree. But let, let's like <coughs> the Purple Heart goes back to George Washington, right? Yeah. So there's probably a date involved. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So and it, look, it it just changed uh, last month or two months ago. Uh, Congress just said something about uh, with uh, Iraqi or with Iraq and Afghanistan it changed. I don't know why, how it changed, I have to look it up, but it, it, it has changed, who gets it? So what if we had a Purple Heart event? Come and meet the Veterans Committee, come and meet the local politicians. Yeah. And learn the history of the Purple Heart. Yeah. 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 <coughs> You're right. Yeah. yeah, because I was eventually going to ask the question, I'm glad it came up with that, because I'm like, oh, we're a Purple Heart town, great, that's really cool. Yeah. What does it mean? Yeah. I had no idea, you know? Yeah. I've never even heard of it. Yeah. I've lived in Massachusetts my entire life. But Shudri is, and I think Mulberry is, 
I didn't know. know if, I didn't know if you had to apply. I didn't know if you had to like. Yeah. like Andy says, I don't know if you had to turn in. Or you had to turn in two hundred recipients. I, yeah. I didn't know. It was just it's nice. It's, to see it's like what benefit? Yeah, right. you know, like, what is no, town get special right. funding for things? We got purple. We got signs. Part of so my right. campaign posts went to the town administrator to fund it because we didn't have any funds. Right. And mm -hmm. and he got he got down and deep in his pocket. He come up with like nine hundred bucks. So they they had there's several uh, iterations of the sign, depending on where you are. Mm -hmm. right. You know, some have very purple and some have very green and that, whatever. Yeah. But uh, and then you could oh you wanted to do a graphics uh, a graphic arts thing and do it design your own. Okay. Mm -hmm. But it's a designation that you're you're a purple hat town. You recognize that but you're a purple hat mm -hmm. the, tool, town. the tools that are already there. We just yeah. have to find a way to use them. Yeah. So find what they are. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I retract my stop and shop idea. I don't <laughs> think we have enough time. Uh, I got a little over ahead of myself. Right. But I think what Sean, if you could take a look at next year's calendar mm -hmm. and think through when we should have these kind of meet and greet events. Well, I, I would say like, no more than one a quarter. Right. I, 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 I like the idea of quarterly. Right. Yeah. But that, yeah. Okay. But I think it is important that we continue to have them no yes. matter what. Yeah. No matter what. Because right. I mean, because maybe those yeah. guys who came to the first event are already thinking, right. was that it? Right. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Well, and one of the things that I was going to stress was that, and you, you hit the nail on the head with the 4th of July parade. I think we need to go to these places and say, hey, we are doing this. Did you know about it? In addition, okay, so now if we're going to do a, uh, an event in a you know, building, whatever, then do we go back to, like I said before, the flyer thing, the PSAs, all that. But in addition to that, you have to just go and talk to people and tell them we're doing it. You know, when I went to the post, I talked to two guys. One of them ended up showing up, okay, my neighborhood. Just walking, talking to people. So I think we have to understand that people don't read the newspaper that much anymore. And, and if you not put people on the spot, right. but if you tell them we're doing it, then you can go. Right. you'll get right. better. You'll get better attendance. Right. So I think that's the other thing we need to do. Go, go back to what I started saying before: getting getting ahead of it with uh, announcements, wherever we put them, churches, community building boards, papers, all that, all of the above. And if we and if we did not look in my in my condo complex where I live, there are, that I know of, there are three families, mm -hmm. and I could invite them to come. You know, yeah, yeah. One guy's a combat marine, one guy was in the navy, and one guy was army intelligence in Berlin. Yeah, he's a little yeah. older than us. But anyway, yeah. so yeah. You just say, hey, look, you don't have to do anything. You're right. Know, right. Just exactly. show us. You know? well, yeah. yeah. Tonight we had the uh, uh, nights out. Okay. You're sitting there like three dumps up, three three logs there, and people were coming up to us, walking by us. And I, I, as soon as everybody walked by, it looked like we were going to be a veteran. I say, you a veteran? You know a veteran? Exactly. And we because we had some information here, but we had pads and we had pencils, yeah. and we want we want people to feel. Maybe if you got a question, you want to go over and write it down, and, and we'll get back to you. Okay, yeah. you don't have to if you don't want to face on face with with a, with a question. Write it down. We'll research it for you. Give us a phone number. I'll get the answer for yeah. you. That's what they need. Then okay. you put a little suggestion box on it. Correct. Or whatever. How, uh, yes. What, what, else, what else can we do for yeah. you? Mm -hmm. You know. Uh, right. I mean, I don't know. Maybe they, maybe the uh, the veteran community can come up with something for us. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. But mm -hmm. it's a, it's, a, it's another okay. way to open up the channel. So, all right, we're at October now. I, I say we shoot for something early January. That works. Yeah. And what, what I, so the only stipulations that I have is one, consider like national night out, like that should be one of them. So there's oh, something we sure. need to plan. Yeah. We just need to talk to the chief yeah. about mm -hmm. getting on that. And then um, so not the same thing. Remember that sentence with the chief in it. Just remember the sentence with the chief in it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then, um, not like the same thing over and over. So like, yeah. you know, yeah. in, in the, the times around the holidays, a stop and shop event, you know, make it easy on ourselves. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, so if we go, okay, so January, <coughs> four months after that, you're looking at, you know, May, well, April, May, which ties into, let's advertise Flag Day and Memorial, and Memorial Day. Stuff like that, Memorial Day. So then after that, you 
August is the eighth. So yeah, you're going on that. Out. That would right. that would time out. Yeah. The post put out a uh, tablet every every year for Memorial Day. You tell as much information as they possibly put on one sheet of paper. Okay. It's the whole parade schedule and everything else. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and they and they hand it out. Mm -hmm. But that's the day the day of the thing. And, right. and it's available a week or two before because it's, it's been put all together. Get a hold of some of those things and post them, so post them all over the Heckman Creation. But mm -hmm. the main thing about posting stuff is if you put it up, you gotta go back and get it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. People, people say, yeah, okay. But you know, the last time that, that thing sat there all year long, mm -hmm. put them up, you go get them. Okay. Then so, you can put them up again <clears throat> next year. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking this. <coughs> Thinking through the calendar, because now we can add the memorial event. We can add our food drives, um, and we can start building up. You know the calendar that you right. just mentioned. Yeah. Maybe the post and the legion can post what they want. I don't know if we can do a calendar on our page or web page. I would go through the TA's office for that because that could get in the way. I mean, I have access to the page, but some of the graphics and some of the widgets that are built in get a little mm -hmm. okay. wonky so i could get their assistance to help us out okay. they'll, they'll help us do anything we want it's yeah you know, it, you know we're not banned changing anything but we can there's a lot of stuff we can add to that page to make it a little more you know, grab your attention yeah yeah i think that would be good so if it's january it's definitely you know, when does christmas break end for high school January second. Bring it back to school right after. Yeah. Right. Okay. Right. All right. So if we could shoot for first, second week of January. Second full week of January. Well, okay. So one thing that I was going to pitch, uh, Andy brought up in July. You know, why are we having a July meeting? Um, let's give ourselves a break. So definitely want to do that going forward. But do we really want to have a December meeting? We don't yeah. July and August because no, no, everybody's on vacation. Unless, unless you specifically say you're going to be here. It's the chair's discretion. Yeah. yeah. If you want to have a meeting, you book it. If you don't, we don't have it. If you have a quorum, you have a meeting. If you yeah. don't, well, so, Yeah, because like just December's always hard because people are traveling for right. Christmas. Right. And right. Right. So, and and then if we don't have a meeting in December, then beginning of January might not work. Okay. All yeah. right. So then we can shoot. But well, we did at one time kick yeah. around the idea of February, Valentine's Day. How are the two things connected? How how are how does us having a meeting have anything to do with the meet and greet? If there's any planning, 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 anything like that that needs to get done. Yeah, we'd have to plan it. You don't have to have a meeting. You don't have to have, have, have a meeting. You don't have to have a meeting. You can work have a workshop. Right. Yeah. yeah. Workshop. Call it together at, at, on the phone, conference call, or whatever you got to do. That's true. Yeah, it could be that. Have, right. a, have, have yeah. a meeting that way. You don't need a quorum. It's yeah. not, a, not a televised anything. It's not spending any money. You're not voting anything. Right. You're not just voting anything. Having an yeah. event. We're just okay. getting things coordinated yeah. and going forward. It'd be the same thing as you going to your in laws. You call up the in-law say, what do you need? What are you bringing? You're bringing the chocolate chip cookies, you're bringing the meatballs. All right. Let's, we Bob's can... got the meatballs this year. His in-laws are Is it what? His in-laws are in-laws. Does the state of Massachusetts have like, any type of poster like benefits of being a veteran uh, or a single veteran for all that matters? Because uh, it's not until you do this research that you figure out, hey, look, you know, Massachusetts, disabled veteran, you know, 60%, you can get, you know, X, amount of your, you know, of your uh, insurance, I mean, not insurance, but excise tax, right? Property or, um, oh, yeah, the benefits of being a veteran. Yeah. Yeah. We talked about that, yeah. <laughs> a, lot, a lot of that's based on 100% disability, though, that we're um, specifically talking about. Not, not, not 100%, some, I mean, some of, yeah, but some of it's not all. Yeah, Dr. Burial is not. Yeah. 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 And he doesn't have anything. <laughs> but um, this is what kind of created, well, this is what drove the creation of, on our webpage, we have a list of links that take you to those various things. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, we've all had those questions at one point. And actually, I, th I think we need to get to the point where annually we're updating that with, yeah. with new links. Yeah. Um, but once we have a calendar. 
the new the new thing or the old thing or the constant thing always <coughs> is va.gov and you do yeah. not need to log on to sign into it you can, yeah. unless you're going specifically for something for you but you can go in and you can search the whole thing and get all of that <coughs> yeah that is the hard thing and that's what we're still I, I still feel like we're still struggling to get that information out that we're here that we have these capabilities right. some of it is you know we're in a, in a weird generation gap with veterans where some of them use social media and some of them don't and you know a lot of the, the veterans that use social media at, at least a lot of the ones that are around my age they don't really care about some of these benefits um, I mean, my generation, same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Say whatever. <laughs> yeah, right. You know, there are people that just don't even file, and they're like, whatever, I'm just going to go off and do this stuff. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm 32 so. years old. What the heck do I care about right. death benefits? Exactly. Um, yeah. Yeah. You know. So um, that's why I really like these kind of meet and greets. And yeah. if you can come up with a better name, Sean, I'm, I'm all for it. <laughs> these info <laughs> sessions. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> because it gives us a chance to put some things out. I think every time we've had one, you know, we recruited Mateo, we recruited you um, from the, the National Night Out. The one that we had before that, we actually passed on a lot of information to some guys that had a lot of questions. Um, so it's always been successful. It's just getting people there. Free beer. You do that, my generation will be there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you got it. What's that, uh, what's that brewery in uh, Sturbridge now? There's something tree. Sturbridge? Something tree. Treehouse. Treehouse Brewery. Yeah, Treehouse Brewery. Uh, Get them to yeah. set up a little sample. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. All right. We we yeah. now we really digress. Yeah. Right. <laughs> All right. Any okay. other questions on uh, meet and greet? Just the. Well, before I get there, just to sum it up, so we'll put together a calendar um, for next year. Mm -hmm. We'll do meet and greet info session, roughly quarterly. Yep. Once we get Holly, um, we'll have her add food drives to that. We'll add the memorial walk run event to that, and um, we'll just start to look at you know building on this calendar. And then, like, updating the links. I think, like I said, that should be, like, an annual thing that we do. Where, where are we on the agenda? Because I want to say something before we get, I don't want to get too far off track. Where we are, are, next is items not okay. anticipated. So I had a conversation with the chief, or should I say the chief sought me out and started the conversation. National night out about the tent mm -hmm. and the, the tables yeah. and that whole thing. You, know, you don't have to go under the tent if you don't want to. If you do, it's first come, first serve. If you have your own tent and your own table, you can pretty much pick a spot. Pick a spot. Perfect. So <coughs> if we get a tent and a table, mm -hmm. set it up right across from where we see the right on the grass. Mm -hmm. uh, can, will you interview us as well? Sure. Ah. Well, on that well, note, not. Okay, <coughs> in, the, in the order of priorities, we talk about purchases, okay? I have... Two of those 10 by 10 easy ups, okay? Right. I think to start off with, okay, we get a table skirt that has something. Maybe we do get a banner, a 10 foot banner. I think you do it. Yeah, yeah so yeah. I think, yeah, that, right. that's a great idea. So wherever we go, we're going to have to tell who we are. Yeah, right. You know? And that's where the banner comes in handy right there. Okay, sure. So okay. I'll look at, I'll add uh, banners and signs. Okay. And you'll look at the tabletop <coughs> skirt thing, the yep. silk screening. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, all right. Yeah, I bet this might, well, we have to bid it out. I'm going to bet there's probably somebody in town that does. <coughs> yeah. yeah. I'm sure there is. I think there's also like something you can do with cloth, like sublimation or something. That's, yeah. a, that's the word I was looking for, sublimated cloth. Yeah. You're right. Mm -hmm. And for the signs and banner, I'll just go with who we want with the... Uh, well, actually, you know what? I might just see if Blackstone Valley Tech would be willing to hook us up. Yeah, you start yeah I got to yeah. do that now. Um, cool. If not, we'll just go with the massive Fourth of July banner people. Okay, so on that note, uh, at our last meeting the other night, we talked about B BBT doing some uh, wreath hangers. So I, I had to went, you got to go to their website. I, I, first, I called and talked to some people. They said, well, go to, you got to go to the website yeah. and submit a, we'll call it a work request. Yeah. So I did that, and I'm hoping I get an answer. You will. 
from that, yeah. okay, so let, let me get into, they have, I don't, I don't know what they call it, whether they call it multimedia or whatever. So you have to pick what you want. So I will go back in and I will go to the, whether it be multimedia or whatever it is, and add, add a second request. Would you make table skirt? Would you make banners? Or what is your capability and stuff like that? Okay. Mm -hmm. And, but there was a little, I think if I remember right, there was a line that said, essentially, who's going to pay for it? Okay. You know, but, you know, we'll cross that bridge and we'll get to it. So you fill it in, Town of Grafton? Yeah. yeah. Well, I did. I did. And I put in Town of Grafton, Town of Grafton ID number, mm -hmm. all that. So, yeah. Okay. Now, are you putting in for paper or are you putting in for cloth? On your, on your, on your search terms. I mean, well, you, well, at first we talked, we were just talking about table skirt banner for right. our table, for right. our table and our tent. Yeah. But if it's, if it's, if it's cloth, you can reuse it. If it's paper, you got to watch what you'd order. Yeah. 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 Oh, oh no, I see. Yeah. 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 It's a cloth banner. Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> I the skirt, I believe, would probably best would be cloth. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. For sure. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, so we breeze past. Were there any meet and greet questions, comments? No. no. All right. Um, besides what we just talked about, any items that are not on the agenda, anybody would like to come up? I got one thing from the other night and, and, and until tonight. Yep. We've got the SHREB print brand. I'm going to get, we've got three quotes in. We're going to expect three more by uh, 5 o'clock tomorrow night. I got the rest of them filled out. There's one question on this thing that says, uh, uh, Will the grant pay for the whole thing? If, if the grant doesn't pay the whole thing, will the town pick up the, the, the rest of the tab? Okay. Now we have two right now that says that uh, fifteen thousand nine hundred, fifteen thousand seven hundred, something like that. Two of them for that, and I got one for eighty nine hundred. So it's someplace in between. Okay. So if 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 the grant if the grade to give us like ten thousand, and the thing came to came to fifteen, was the town going to pay the other five? Because what they ask for is, are you going to do this? Are you going to make whatever it is you're putting in the for the grant? Are you going to make it within six months? Okay. Uh, if we're not, if we're not going to, if the town isn't going to put up the rest of the cash, we, we're sitting on we're sitting on what five six thousand dollars if 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 that's that's what the that's mm -hmm. what the quote say. I think that's okay. an easy. I think that's an easy answer because I know there, there are projects all around town that sometimes are funded by grants, and yeah, I got yeah. a funny feeling that they don't right. always pay the whole boat. No, but I want to know. They're asking, will if if this if we give you ten toward fifteen, will the town come up with the other five? Yeah. I can't speak for them. Yeah. We, can, we can't guarantee it. No, but we can certainly have a conversation with that. Right. I was going to say we're yeah, coming to the table with ten grand. Right. We're just yes. to get on yeah. Evan's calendar. Um, May have to go to town meeting with it, but yeah, it, but yeah. that would be at least April or May. You you could prepare it, get it in the warrant, and yeah, right, and have a pretty good answer. And if we want, we want to be on not Tuesday nights, but maybe the next select board agenda, Wednesday. I'm sorry, Tuesday nights. Then. Tuesday night. So we're we're not going to get on Tuesday nights agenda, but whatever the next meeting is after that, we should be yeah. on the agenda to invite them to yeah Veterans yeah. State Services. Yes, and, true. I also thought they have a meeting on Wednesday. I thought it was no, no, every, every, other, every other Tuesday, aren't they? I don't yeah. know what town you're living in. But. Yeah, every <laughs> uh, Colleen, maybe it was just a one off. Colleen, Colleen and I were talking second about it. the last two years. I went into something like so. that. Yeah, yeah. All right. one, one week they don't have it. I should know it's always on our calendar. Right, that's right. Okay. Uh, okay, and I also spoke the other night about uh, 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 they want the veterans wanted to, to identify those people that served in the country in Vietnam. Mm -hmm. I did some recent put quick research today. If the person is dead, I can get the information. If they're not dead, all the DD two fourteens of our era are confidential because they got social security number on. Yeah. I am not eligible to get that information. If they want to provide it, yes, I'll take care of them. If if I can, I'll get it on the on the plaque by the time we go to go to print with it. But if they have it and I can't, I, it's all or none. Tell me all of them. <coughs> or don't tell me any of them, because I'm not going to be. You skip me. I guess yeah. what, you better figure out how you're going to put that little thing next to my name, because I want to be identified. I, I'm of the mindset that we don't worry about it for the Vietnam blacks. Just leave. Just leave everybody, because there's 
all kinds of guys that, that were on, on plaque in the on the first plaque yeah. that were era. Mm -hmm. And I I, yes. I I don't know who they are. Yeah. Who who, who right. served. And I'm not sure I'm not sure there's one person in town that can tell me. And when when, when we search all this stuff, I had ninety three names that are on that first plaque. They don't even have a DD two fourteen. They don't the state doesn't even know they're in the military. Right. And they're on that first plaque. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I think going forward, if it's easy, um, then yeah, going forward, we can yeah. do it. I want, I want to finish this thing. If we yeah, find that, we find after the fact, like I said the other night, there's a little dot we can we can stick on with that aircraft move. It 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 it'll stay on forever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Point of order. We're jumping agendas between. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I yeah. Have, I have to. But I, but I have to. Be no, what I'm saying is yes. We don't have to. We're no. jumping between two different committees. Yep. We had a meeting about this the other night. You're giving us the same information you gave us the other night. Oh. Almost verbatim. Yes. Motion to adjourn. Okay. <laughs> uh, before we get to, before we get to the motion, so the next meeting that I have scheduled is Thursday, November sixteenth at seven p.m. Um, at that time, we'll decide on if we want to do an agenda, if we want to have a meeting in December. But right now, I'm thinking of not having a meeting in December. Mm -hmm. uh, and now, motion to adjourn. Can I get a second? Second. Okay. Uh, Andy. Hi. Lucas. Hi. Bob, hi. Sean, hi. Mike, hi. Mateo, hi. Justin is aye. This meeting is adjourned. I will see y'all next month.